Alright, hey guys, uh, it's Seven here with Graphics Headquarters, and if I sound really weird, it's because I have a cold, so I don't usually sound like this. And uh, I'm going to do a 3D text tutorial. This, this is good for you Photoshop users and anybody who really, or, I mean, actually right now if you go look at my background on this channel, you will see the, uh, an example of how I use this in uh, in my background. So we're going to start out by going to the snake looking thing. I don't know what you would really call it. I think it's called like a spline. I'm not really sure though. And then go down to text. You, ha you have to hold on the uh, spline tool. So we're going to go to text. Change that to graphics. So that's what this channel is all about. Graphics. So go choose your choose a font. And then there you go. Okay, so now you have. See if I render this right now, you don't see anything because you haven't made it 3D yet. So you want to go to extrude nerves, and then drag your text um, to the top of that layer, and it'll it'll make your 3D text or the basics of it. But right now, it doesn't look very good, as you can see. So I'm just going to put a light in here by holding down the, the uh, it looks like a circle with four arrows coming out of it, which is a light light tool. So uh, let's make a new material. Um, we're going to name it black. I think I messed up on my spelling, but whatever. <coughs> mm. Now we're going to go to pick color, any color. And there you go. So there's some basic black, and then a lot of reflection to it. A little bit of reflection. Got kind of a shiny gray. And once you do that, I mean, it looks a little better than it looked before. But we want this to look pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is copy this layer and then paste it again on the. Uh, Paste it above the other one, or above or above or below. It doesn't really matter. And then you want to add a cap to it, a fillet, a fillet, or I don't really know how to pronounce that, but fillet or fillet. And we'll just turn that down to about a three meter, um, three meters larger. And then same on the back of it. So you can see you have kind of an outer shell to it, and then we're going to change the color to a blue, or no, we'll change it to a yellow, I like yellow better, and we'll do a little bit of a transparency, so there you go, it's kind of a glassy, that's a good glass effect you can use, we're going to put that down right there. Make sure that looks right. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, you've got your basic colored on the outside 3D text. And that's kind of a... I actually use this exact same effect on the current background that I have on this channel. So if you want to go check that out, then feel free to do so. And then once you get done with that, you want to change your render settings to whatever resolution you plan to use. I just typically put it on 1280 by 720 although my computer is 1280 by 800 but it, it honestly doesn't really matter too much because you're probably going to be putting this into Photoshop. So you want to save it onto your desktop as, I'll name this one, cut text, tutorial text. Okay, we're going to get that so it'll save onto the desktop under that name. And then we're going to render that. And there you go. And then I'm going to make another tutorial in a minute on how to uh, how to put that text that you see right there into Photoshop. And then I'll show you a little bit how to edit it. So thanks for watching. This has been Graphics Headquarters. If this helped you out at all, please leave it. Give, 
can't even talk. Give it a like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.